بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ان سگنل ان سسٹمس اور ان کمیونیکیشن سسٹمس وی ہیو ٹو ٹائپس آف سگنلس وی کلاسیفائڈ سگنل ان ٹرمس آف ٹو ٹائپس فرسٹ ان ٹرمس آف انرجی دا ادر تھنگ ان ٹرمس آف پاور رائٹ دس از ہاؤ وی کلاسیفائی سگنل وی ہیو این انرجی سگنل اینڈ وی ہیو اے پاور سگنل سو امیجن وی ہیو اے سگنل لائک دس so energy of a signal uh, let me give you an example of a signal uh, some of the examples of energy signal energy signal could be a signal that is in terms of a digital signal uh, like you're sending data bits because sometimes you have a burst of data and then after some time you don't have any burst of data you have nothing no data coming in uh, so that's the example of an energy signal so sending digital bits Or another example could be a signal which is sort of like an exponential signal where the signal starts off with high energy and as the time passes by, the signal decays. Exponential signal or a decaying signal. So that's the example of a signal which is an energy signal. So the, in an energy signal, the thing that you need to remember is this, that energy EX is going to be finite. All right? But power is going to be zero all right so that's the criteria about energy signal let me explain power signal and then so i can i can show you what that is um, a power signal is something that a signal that you take an average of this signal all right so you take an average of a signal over a per certain period of time and once you take that average that average becomes a power signal. So for example, I'm making this video right now. And let's say this video lasts for about seven or 10 minutes or something like that. And sometimes I'll be pausing in my video. Sometime I will be saying something in high frequency. Sometime I'll be using a lot of energy. You can see the variation in my voice. But if I were to average that over this entire period of time of seven minutes or 10 minutes, whatever that time is, I would get that average of that signal. And that average of that signal is known as power signal. In power signal, we have Px, the power is finite, energy is infinite. Because if I were to look at the energy of a signal, I can see the burst, then I can see a pause like this. So energy is going to be infinite, but my power is going to be uh, uh, in, uh, finite. On the other hand, in my energy signal, I have in a finite power energy, but zero power. I cannot take an average of that signal. Basically, what that what that, this is what it means. The definition, the definition of energy signal is something like this. E x is defined by t as it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. I'll take the magnitude of my signal. I'll square it. So I'm taking the magnitude of my signal. I'm squaring it and taking area under the curve of it. That's the idea behind my energy signal. On the other hand, the definition of power is, is limit as t approaches infinity, all right, t is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, 1 over t with respect to t, the magnitude is squared dt. So if you were to look at it, This definition is same thing as the definition of an energy signal. By applying my limit as t approaches infinity, what I'm doing, I'm actually taking an average of a signal. So basically, what am I doing? I'm taking an average of my signal, and I'm taking the area under the curve of this. This is defining my power signal. While energy signal, I am just squaring it and taking area under the curve of this particular signal, which is this signal. So this averaging it out of a signal Uh, it's actually known as power signal. What are some of the examples of a power signal? Any periodic signal, any periodic signal are considered to be power signal. So if I have a periodic signal, I know it's going to be a power power signal. And, and, and some of the examples that I've given you in terms of digital bits, or you can think of a periodic signal as well. A periodic signals, which is just like uh, sending bits that you have a signal when you have bits to send you have a, a high burst of data when you have nothing to send you have nothing to send that's what a periodic means or example of a exponential signal um, so so that's the idea behind it 
um, about energy. Okay, one thing that you need to remember about energy and power signal: a signal cannot be both power or, or energy signal. All right, a signal cannot be both uh, energy and power signal. It either be an energy signal or either it will be a power signal. So we classified based on the definition. Uh, in energy signal, you're taking a square root of it. Uh, you're squaring it and taking the area under the curve. You're doing exactly the same thing, but you're averaging it out by taking a limit with respect to that much of that period. So if the sphere is getting bigger and bigger, you take that average of a signal and, 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 and you will know what would be the definition. So these are the two criteria I need to fulfill. So in upcoming videos, I'll do an example of an energy signal and a power signal. And we'll try to see that if an energy signal does have an infinite amount of energy and a power signal does have finite of, uh, a finite amount of, of, of power. Uh, basically, in power signal, uh, one more thing I want to I want you to know about power signal is that basically what this definition is also saying is that how many joules, how many of joules would give you this much of wattage? So, so if you were to average it out, this would give you okay this much watt, this much of power is going to be there uh, if you have that many joules. Uh, so, so that's all I have to say regarding energy and power signals. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'll, in a follow-up videos, I'll do an example of one of these uh, to find out uh, if my signal is indeed an energy signal or a power signal. Just one thing to remember: energy has an infi energy signal has an in a finite amount of energy, and power signal has finite amount of power. But it will have power signal will have infinite amount of of energy. All right. So if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. And, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.